Hey guys, today I'm doing an eight month update. Ooh. Dropped it. Anyway, as I was saying, today I'm doing an eight month update on this coffee grinder I got from AliExpress. This cost me 40 USD and it took about a week to arrive. So it's pretty quick. And sometimes there's specials. I'm not a good at special on it. So sometimes the price is a little bit more, but I've had no issues with it so far. Um, it's been great, still works like as you know, as I first got it, there's no issues whatsoever. It's been great. Um, I have one question about uh, the grind size, if you can make espresso with it. And honestly, I'm not really too sure what qualifies as espresso grind size. So I'm gonna just do a little demonstration and show you what it can do. As you can see, you can adjust grind size by twisting this thing. So if you twist it too tight, then it would just be too tight to grind anything. So I've put it on one of the finer settings and I'm gonna give you a little demonstration because I don't know what grind size espresso is supposed to be. And I'm gonna try and make espresso with it. So, yep. Okay, so I'm just gonna give you a little demonstration of how finely it grinds it on this piece of paper. So that's a little bit too tight, loosen up a little bit. So that's, that's normally what I use. So that's how fine it is. I'd assume that's fine for an espresso. And you turn it more coarsely. We'll see what that does. So that's quite a bit more coarse. Grinds faster as well. So yeah, there you go. That's how finely it grinds on my normal setting. And you can change it to that if you want to, but it doesn't give you as good of a result, obviously. Okay, so I've measured out seven grams of coffee beans, approximately. And I'm going to be using the Europress, which is like a Chinese knockoff of the Aeropress. This cost me $16 and it arrived in about a week. And like I said, I'm not an expert. I just did a quick Google and apparently you're supposed to use about seven grams of beans to make an espresso and put it in this cup and I'll grind it on camera and see how quickly it does it. Okay, so that's that's all done. And I'll put it in the Europress. You put a paper in there. Link for this to be in the description as well. And we'll put it, so this cup's a little bit small for it, because usually I just make a full, full cup. And put it in there. I'm gonna boil some water and then we'll make it. Okay, I got my water ready. So I'm just gonna eyeball this because I don't normally make these little espressos. So probably about halfway full would be good. Because there's not much beans in it, it's already running through pretty quickly. So I try and stir it up a little bit. So I think there's too much water. Ah, shit. Yeah, that's too much. <laughs> okay, so I've remade it without spilling it. Use the right amount. And there you go. And honestly, I think probably I'm insulting someone by calling this an espresso because it's quite big. But I think it's probably pretty capable of it. Um, yep, tastes like coffee. <laughs> uh, but the grinder's been very good quality, no issues at all. Um, yeah, so that's that's how finely you can grind. So links in the description. Um, if the links don't work, 
please let me know. I'll update the links. I get a small commission for it, probably like one or two dollars if you use my link, which I will most likely put into more videos. So if you want to support my videos, then just use my links. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.